Have you ever watched a video where you genuinely felt like you're seeing something that you're not supposed to be watching? Something that feels a little bit forbidden? Honestly, I haven't in quite some time, especially now where so much of the internet is censored, carefully curated and controlled. But there was a time when all of this YouTube and the modern internet when speeds got fast enough to actually watch movies and videos, and all of a sudden this new Pandora's box opened up. It was back then where I quite often saw videos that were being shared that felt a little bit evil. Traffic accidents, people taking creepy incognito videos of women who weren't aware that they were being filmed, weird street fights, I mean this stuff definitely exists today too, but back then for me and a lot of others it was the first time you were exposed to something like that. The internet felt like the wild west, the most intimate moments from someone else's life were suddenly accessible to you. And that's what VHS feels like. It perfectly captures that early 2000s vibe where a friend is showing a crazy video in class to a group of people and you lean in to see what it is only to see something that surprises you in all the wrong ways, even though this movie came out pretty much towards the end of that era. VHS is an anthology with one framing story and a few smaller short films, and it's definitely a little bit upsetting if you're used to the average horror movie that gets released today. You're following around a group of total douchebags who go around forcibly exposing a woman, and they do it to get paid $50. This feels like a crazy video that would actually get shared around if you meet a group of people low enough. These guys go breaking shit in an abandoned house and going as a gang on some sort of mission where they break into a house only to find a stack of mysterious videotapes. This occasionally gets interrupted by a video of a pair trying to have and it seems like the woman doesn't know that she's being recorded. This peeping Tom trope is something we've actually seen so many times in movies, funnily enough in comedy and romantic movies where people sort of spy on girls changing, but in VHS you see something quite similar, but all that's different is the context, background and tone, and it makes you uneasy. The first tape the guys find, the first short film playing in this story further underlines this insane horror. It's wrong, it's offensive, but that's what made stuff like this gain attention. The first short shows a group of three men, Clint, Shane, and Patrick, who come up with some sort of weird scheme to capture an amateur adult video. Clint wears glasses with a hidden camera, with the goal of them hooking up with some girls and then getting shareable material, let's call it. And I want to give the film credit right here, because this looks like shit. And I mean that as a compliment. There are so many times where I watch found footage films and I wonder how the hell they got the footage, you know, why the character would hold a giant camera during a chase scene, or how the quality is so cinematic to the point where it simply couldn't possibly record it by a handheld camera. But this feels like it's actually a video taken with a digital camera that was on a phone with a plastic keyboard with nine keys. It feels authentic. And it's not just the camera quality, but also the action itself, but more on that later. So the guys go out to meet some girls, and in a slightly heartbreaking moment, the cameraman meets this seemingly very shy, kind girl who's very soft-spoken and doesn't belong in this footage at all. Cool. I like you too! Now, because of YouTube's community guidelines, it forbids me from talking about anything except for the Teletubbies, so I can't really describe in detail what their plans are and what happens next, but basically, they go back to their hotel room, and the big douchey guy starts sort of... Well, I mean, he's not sort of doing anything, he's very brazenly forcing himself on this quiet girl. And this is uncomfortable, and it feels very real, in how wrong it is, and it's important to remember that it wasn't that long ago where videos that were kind of like this, up to this point at least, were pretty widely accessible without a lot of hurdles. Now I can't tell you why us hurting people and doing illegal stuff, breaking things or these voyeuristic things get shared amongst people so often, but unfortunately it does happen a lot. Here, with a slight change in tone, editing, and context, we see how messed up it really is, and you can sense that this is a dangerous, creepy environment. However, there is a gradual twist here that's sort of, you know, the big irony. The girl transforms into a mythical creature of some sorts and becomes a little aggressive. 
So these two then start getting it on, but the girl has like scales on her feet, you know, they look very strange, and her back starts looking bruised, and she has a green tongue, and all of this starts feeling very, very wrong. And it's interesting how this plays out since it's not a one and done thing where she instantly transforms and it's a big jump scare, but it starts off with Clint noticing smaller things that are off, and it slowly escalates while the other guy continues as normal. Well, I mean, this isn't really normal, but you know what I mean. So then Clint goes into the bathroom to get a small break, and then this other guy comes in who, who says that he got his hand bitten, and he's not wearing any pants. When the two leave the bathroom, things escalate very quickly. Patrick tries attacking her with a curtain rod, but gets his bitten off. Clint tries escaping, but then gets captured by the girl, who now has wings and lifts him up into the night sky. The camera drops and that's where the segment ends. I'd argue it's one of the best, if not the most memorable short in this first movie. Many of the reviews give VHS a lower rating, citing that the characters in here are unlikable and misogynistic. But I'd argue that just because the movie shows awful stuff happening doesn't mean that the directors are saying that it's right or that you should do it too. But this is the cruel reality of many, many videos that are shared online, and it shows what that time and what some corners of the internet, even today, are like. There are monsters out there. Sometimes they look like this, but most of the time they look like this. I'll remember VHS as a narrative version of the distasteful videos that get shared online, and we get to explore that wrong side without really involving ourselves in it. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. As always, I hope you liked it and that I get to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.